Welcome back to the program. You do not have to wait for Badger football games now to <laughs> jump around here in Madison. That's right. We got a sneak peek of a new indoor trampoline park opening tomorrow. And I can tell you firsthand experience, it is no easy feat. Joining you this morning from Rock and Jump, a trampoline park. You can see all these behind me. It is a good day when I can wear sweats. And I'm here with Aaron Bakken, one of the co-owners of this uh, awesome establishment. This is really cool. Thanks for joining us of this course. morning. Thank you. Talk to me a little bit about what's going on behind us here. So this is a gigantic, at least in my opinion, it's a 31,000 square foot play space for both kids and adults. We do certainly specialize in birthday parties. It's a big part of our business, but uh, I think unlike a lot of other options here in the Madison area, this place really is for the entire family. Mm -hmm. um, it is predominantly an indoor trampoline park, but we also have a very large three-story by 55-foot wide rock climbing wall that actually has an auto belay system, so it makes it really easy and simple for people to be able to climb versus a more truly technical rock climbing wall. Um, but it's a huge open jump arena. We have a, a stunt bag area, a, a, a slam dunk basketball zone, two dodgeball courts, and a few other different attractions, plus a really good ca on-site cafe, actual a comfortable seating for parents, a free Wi-Fi. They can actually get something done if they're not going to actually play with their kids when they're here. Which, I don't know why you would do that. Just go out on the trampoline. It's a good workout, too. I've done something like Incredible. this before. Yeah. Incredible. Have you gotten out on there? Of course. Yeah, no, there's really no workout like this. I, I, there's an old NASA study that was done in the 80s that um, 10 minutes of jumping on a trampoline is the equivalent of 33 minutes of running in terms of cardiovascular benefit and calorie burn. So it's, a, it's, an, it's an exceptional workout. How do you even get into the, the trampoline business? Um, you get into the business ultimately because you realize that um, the things you've been doing throughout your life has been really not as exciting as something that can involve something like this. And then when you come to a park like this, you realize, wow, this is really cool. And then when you realize what the business is like, how it's run, the kind of um, opportunities it provides to families and how you can really become a part of the community, it makes you realize this is a really, really fun business to be part of, as well as just good business in general. All right, I got my special socks on and everything. These things got little grippies. Before I hop on the trampoline though, Aaron, what do I need to know safety-wise real quick? Well, Rock and Jump, first and foremost, we're the only company in the trampoline park industry that has a trademark safety program. It's both in terms of the process and the name of, of Jump Safe. The key thing is you have to jump within your limits. Understand that you know, when you were 16 years old, you might have been able to do crazy stuff that you probably can't do today if you're an adult. So always up within your, with your limits. Listen to our safety monitors. They have been trained to stop people from doing things that could potentially result in them hurting themselves or somebody else. Uh, have fun and also know when it's time to take a break. This is, this is hard exercise. So mm -hmm. take it easy. All right. Well, I'm going to start hopping now if you don't mind. You want to join me? You want to stay oh, right there? Please. All right. We'll be uh, back with some of the pitch. You're going to want to see that too. Woo! <laughs> Fun but tiring. That's pretty much it. Rock and Jump's grand opening is tomorrow morning at 11, right off of Rimrock Road. 30 minutes for 10 bucks. An hour is 14, a dollar extra for the rock wall. That's not enough. 19 bucks for 90 minutes, 22 for two hours on the trampolines. For directions, information on booking a party or to fill out that waiver before you go in, you can head to msnrockandjump.com. Also, while we were there, I had to take on producer Christopher. He's usually behind the scenes. He took a chance in front of the camera. It was a one-of-a-kind face-off, though. Check this out. You are timid. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes! Yes! No. <laughs> two out of three. Okay. That had to be staged. There was no, no, no. way he went down that easy. He was just being nice to you. Come I'm on, thinking. come on. Look at these guys. So you're going to stay tuned later. We're going to later on this morning. We're going to find out in the best of three who was victorious in that's, that. That's exactly right. So you won the first. I did. I did win the first. Okay. We will not provide any spoilers for the, the future ones. I haven't seen it, so I can't even spoil. Just I have no ready. knowledge with which to spoil. All right, it is 5.51 right now. There's going to be a new traffic configuration on the Beltline starting tonight. That's one of the things you'll need to know this morning. It is Thursday, June 11th, and you are watching News 3 this morning. So if you need a way to burn off some calories and, and this is a very important and, and. get your kids tired out, <laughs> there's a new option for you in Madison. Trampoline parks have been popping up around the state, and now there is one in the city here in Madison. We take you back to Rock and Jump to catch the mayor and show you what the big airbag is all about. Back at Rock and Jump, it's going to open this week in Madison, and I've got Aaron Bakken here. He's an owner. What are we looking at right here? This seems like a lot of fun. It, yeah, this is a <laughs> giant airbag. In most trampoline parks, this is the foam pit, but we've chosen to go with the airbag. 
Um, right now, they're actually jumping at the same time, but typically, you know, one person goes at a time. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier to get off of than a typical foam pit is after people are done jumping. Uh, it's also a lot easier for us to maintain and to, and to clean. Um, so that's why we chose the airbag. Plus, frankly, it's just a lot more fun. This is what they use for stunts in movies when people are all like, Jumping off of bridges or falling off buildings. I mean, that's kind of awesome airplane. to be able to tell your kids, like, hey, you're you're a stuntman for the day. That's you right. know what I mean? That's right. So we've got JR, Skyler, and our producer Chris out here. You probably see Chris is behind the scenes usually. He's going in front of the camera today to have some fun. But obviously, when we're looking at something like this, they're doing flips and stuff. Mm -hmm. What kind of safety things do you have to keep in mind? Do parents have to keep in mind with this? Oh, uh, with this, it, it's it's definitely again comes back to jumping within your limits and also our Staff is trained to see if somebody is going to try and do something that they clearly don't have the skill set to do, they'll stop them. Our actual safety monitors will stand right in the center here on the pads, and if they have to, they'll literally get in the way and say stop. So yep. That's why the key piece is it really is, is it's kind of like a teamwork effort between the, the, our guests having to understand look, hey, don't do things that are crazy, and our, our employees obviously doing their job of monitoring safety. Absolutely. We actually call them uh, Jump Patrol. That's the jump name of our, Patrol. That's name a good, of our safety monitor. That's a good way to put it there. Awesome. This must be one of like the most it's, popular it's spots. It's awesome. Yeah. This and dodgeball. Well, we might have to play some, some dodgeball soon then. Um, great. Let's take another look at J.R. Scholar. You want to show us a few more jumps here? How, I mean, how high can we get on some of these trampolines? These are impressive. Oh, I've watched these guys jump at least 15 feet in the air, probably higher. Wow. Um, you know, these are young guys who are very athletic. They know what they're doing. <laughs> they both play hockey. Uh, so yeah, Christopher's already taken a break. I have to I have to point that out. He's already uh, taken a, a quick break there, but no judgment here. I've done one of these kind of parts, and it is tiring. It's it's awesome. Yeah, it's great. It's a great workout. I mean, you really, I have yet to find anything that tires me out like this does. And the best thing for parents, when you bring your kids here, they might whine a little bit because they're too tired, but they will go to bed early. Trust me, after yeah. you've been here. All right, I got I got to get in on this. I think. Please do. All right, gentlemen, what should I what should I try? Suggestions? Any, anything is the suggestion. That's probably a good one because I'm going to be lucky if I land correctly. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> you didn't do the somersault That's then? just the old cannonball, oh. the go-to cannonball right there. <laughs> Rock and Jump's grand opening tomorrow at 11 right off of Rimrock Road. 30 minutes, 10 bucks. An hour is 14, a dollar extra for the rock wall, which we showed you in the last hour. If that's not enough, $19 for 90 minutes, 22 for two hours on those trampolines. For directions, information on booking a party, or to fill out the waiver before going, you can head to msnrockandjump.com. Our producer, Chris, who you just saw doing yeah. the awesome tricks in there, we had another friendly face off. Okay, we already uh, saw that I won round one. Okay, yeah, get it straight. I just need to take him down one more time to win it all, right? All right, here's round two. Taking Chris again. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's a tie. It, it's a tie. I can't tell whether Christopher's having more fun at that than he did when he met the uh, the people in the amazing race who won the amazing race the UW I, the scientists uh, I don't he know. was pretty jazzed about that he was pretty jazzed but he looks pretty happy here Chris and I are friends so this is fr friendly competition I love to see him in front of the camera let's see That's we'll have stuff. to do that more we often have to bring him out we should get a camera back there yep well, welcome back to the program 645 now I believe it's 61 degrees out and we are going back to the only place where Danica can slam Done. It's true. We're going back one more time to Madison's new trampoline park. Check it out. We are back at Rock and Jump in Madison. Opens this week, and I'm here with Aaron Bakken, and we've got another thing to show, folks. This is probably one of my favorites because I never get to dunk a basketball. I'm a little short for that. So tell us about what's going on here. So this is our 360 dunk zone. It basically, it, you know, for those of us who are height challenged, you can finally slam dunk. Um, we will have these at typically at three different heights for you know folks who can jump higher, folks that are taller, but again, for those of us that are shorter or for small kids, it gives them an opportunity to really feel what it's like to truly be Michael Jordan or LeBron James for a day. Well, and does that take repeat customers? I mean, do you see kids and families once they come, they come back yes. to try to do things a little better, be a little bit more fit in the process? Absolutely, yeah, I would say that nationwide for parks, you, you, for our parks, you might see like once a month, people come to visit. We, of course, hope more. Um, we do have kind of a, a, an incentive pricing program in place to buy multiple hours of jump at the same time that would allow you to be able to kind of make this more affordable and to come more frequently. Absolutely. Uh, talk about the other ones that are uh, the other features here going on that we'll probably show 
as sure. we're talking about them here. So as I mentioned earlier, we have an on-site cafe, and that's really because we do a lot of birthday parties. It's about 50% of our business. We have four private party rooms. Every party gets a private party host so that the parent's job is to just really kind of step back and let us do all the hard work. Mm -hmm. Um, what about this one behind us here? I know we this can is see called X-Beam. This is our gladiator challenge. Basically, the, the objective is to get out onto that balance beam using those orange joust poles and to basically beat your opponent into the foam pit. <laughs> and then we have two dodgeball courts um, that will be able to uh, allow, usually one will be reserved for birthday parties on the weekends, but it just allows people to be able to play lots of dodgeball because it's actually typically been one of the most popular sections of the park. I know we talked about it a little bit. Can you touch on again why Madison? I mean, why here and, and why now? Well, when you look at uh, the demographics of cities where these types of parks are the most popular, most successful, it comes down to typically a colder climate and where there's nothing really like this on offer, where there's maybe a few options for birthday parties and for family activity, but um, it's just the demographics here are right. You have a lot of younger families with kids that are between the ages of 6 and 16, and we just there's nothing like us in, this, in, in town that, again, caters to the entire family. And so when you look at that from a business perspective, you realize... Madison wants something like this, is going to enjoy something like this, and from a business perspective, you know that you're going to be able to have a lot of people that will come here. All right. So. Hey, JR, give us one more dunk to send us out here. <laughs> Rock and Jump over in Madison. Opens Friday? Uh, yes, Friday, 11 o'clock. All right. See you here. Thanks, mm, Aaron, for joining us. My this pleasure. Morning. Thank you. Rock and Jump's grand opening again tomorrow at 11, right off of Rim Rock Road. 30 minutes, 10 bucks. An hour is 14. A dollar extra for that rock wall you just saw. If that's not enough, 19 bucks for 90 minutes. $22 for two hours on the trampolines. For directions, information on booking a party or filling out a waiver before you go, you can head to msnrockandjump.com. All morning, we've been showing you the face off between myself. And producer Christopher, who has made many a cameo on this morning's segments. Weapon. Okay, here's here's the deal, just to catch you up. We tied in the last match. Seriously, it was just like a, a dead heat tie. But I'm one win away from taking it all, best of three series. Let's see if I can pull it off. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> That's it. Tiebreaker? The tiebreaker. have a tiebreaker? No, 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 no. Oh, well, I, I, we, I guess we did have a tiebreaker real quick, and Christopher won that one, too. Oh. 